your energy forecast for Thursday, June 20th. Okay, so we have the moon in Sagittarius energy all day, giving us a little bit of pep in our step. We are futuristically focused. We are feeling confident. We are feeling like we are prepared to pivot. And that pivot is going to come in hot and heavy because today is the day that we wrap up Gemini season and we see the sun move into Cancer energy, triggering the solstice. Now, in the back burner energy, we're also moving into the full moon window. So we have to be kind of cautiously aware that there is a lot of moving energies. And of course, moving into a water sign, we have to kind of act like water would act. And things are going to get a little bit choppy right out of the gate. So we are definitely in a very intense transition here today. We have seven different aspects popping off and five of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in this Sag energy going to make an awkward interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy, helping us with this rebranding, this version of self that is emerging and really putting us in a different perspective to see ourselves from a totally different set of eyes. We're feeling empowered. We're feeling in control. We're feeling like we're rising up and rising above some of the challenges that we've been faced with over the past couple of weeks. And we are definitely ready to kind of put some chapters, some storylines behind us in order to pivot into brand new foreign territory. The moon is then going to make a very tough interaction with Mars. Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire is in this Taurus energy, a low, slow, steady pace to really kind of gaining a different perspective on where it is that we're at, where it is that we want to actually arrive at the plan, the path, the strategy needed in order for us to get from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. But this is a tough energy, which means that we're frustrated, we're agitated, we're losing patience, we have ants in our pants, we want to gain momentum, we want to see some progress, but we have no clue where to actually initiate this very first move. The moon is then going to try beautiful interaction with the north node in Aries energy. This is some fire on fire energy that is going to help us kind of burn through the cords of attachment to the past, regenerate a pep in our step, inspire and excite us to actually make a change and make some progress moving forward. We have the ability to see that the challenges that we've been faced with are actually opportunities to grow. 2.12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun in the final degrees of this Gemini energy is going to square off with Neptune in its place of power in this Pisces energy. I am going to recommend that you take a listen to the Ascension forecast for this week if you haven't already, and even if you have, maybe take a little bit of a refresher listen, because these squares that we have popping off here this week, we already had Venus and Mercury square off with Neptune prior to them entering into cancer energy. Now the sun is doing his thing by entering into the boxing ring and seeing where some tension, where some conflict is alive and well. This is going to present us with some challenges, with a unique perspective on where it is that we're going through it right now in order for us to grow, in order for us to evolve. Yes, it's going to be confusing. Yes, it's going to be intense. Yes, we're going to have a crisis point emerge because we're questioning our worth, our purpose, our goals, how it is that we're going to get from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. We are low on energy. We're lacking inspiration. We're lacking motivation. We just know that we don't want to do this anymore. And so we are going to be overcome with a lot of negative thoughts, a lot of not so nice feelings. We are going to feel pulled in many different directions, really illuminating where it is that we're not as organized in our inner realm or in our physical realm as we need to be. This is very energetically and spiritually, emotionally, mentally draining, physically as well, although Mars over there in Taurus energy is persevering whether we're exhausted or not. This is going to highlight our ability to see where it is that we're lacking inspiration and imagination, where it is that we have to tap into new creative force energies in order to get on with it, to initiate a new path, a new goal, to initiate what it is that we need to do from here in order to close the door on some very important but challenging 
chapters that have kind of catapulted us into this new version of self. There is going to be struggle. There is going to be distractions. There are going to be detours as we're kind of, I'm going to say, torn into these two different directions in order for the merging that will take happen, that will happen once we kind of move in this cancer energy. We're waiting for that merging point, that wholeness point to actually take place. So we want to watch out that we're not acting on impulse. We want to watch out that we're not verbal vomiting and projecting our own fears, doubts, and insecurities onto the people around us. Because of course, the moon is going to go ahead and make a positive interaction with Mars shortly thereafter, kind of bringing us out of that bunk, really putting us in a more powerful situation to see where it is that we do have the opportunity to boss up, where we do have the opportunity to see a step that we could take in the here and now to break away from the old timeline, the old chapters, the old behaviors, and actually kind of lean towards something different, something new. 4.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun will be moving into Cancer Energy. Please go ahead, listen to your June Zodiac forecast to understand where the Cancer Energy is going to be influencing a particular area of life. Please also download the Cancer Season e-guide. That is your energetic Bible, so to speak, to get you through Cancer Season with all of the shifts, all the highs and lows, and of course, some deep probing in order for us to do the shadow work that is needed in order for us to emerge as this brand new version of self with a brand new emotional foundation for us to be operating from. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Sagittarius energy, semi-squaring Pluto. The semi-square is a mild tension, a little bit of a conflict with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who of course is retrograde in this Aquarius energy, highlighting the power struggle within. The moon in this Sag energy has us futuristically focused, but of course we have to really understand what is blocking us from actually pivoting onto a new path, into a new direction, into a new timeline. And spoiler alert, it is old fears, old doubts, old insecurities that the old version of self has yet to let go of. We are definitely going to explore that realm of attachment and being overly attached to aspects of the past as we dive into this cancer season. <laughs> 